Right, so the initial plan was to open a single box and upload it as soon as possible, but since most of the set's already been leaked, we go in big. Yes, we are opening an entire case here of Eternity Code. The set doesn't officially release until April 30th of this month and sometime in June for America. But as an OTS that was supposed to be hosting a pre-release event, obviously all events got canceled. So uh, they just decided to ship out the stock to OTSs early. And that is why I'm able to bring you this case opening two weeks before the official release date. So Eternity Code, they got rid of rares and they've now bumped up the hollows to 26 supers, 14 ultras, and 10 secrets. So uh, apparently there's no short prints in main sets anymore, but now there's more of each rarity, so uh, you're less likely to pull whatever you want. In an entire case, you're not even guaranteed a play set of everything. Perfect ratios work out to be about 2.4 of every secret per case. Let's just crack on in. We already know all the TCG exclusives and the imports now, so uh, I'm not going to be searching out for any of those. Goki, the Power Load Ogre, Codebreaker Virus Swordsman, Deep Sea Artisan, big fan of the Deep Sea stuff. I uh, really want to try and play that and see how it goes. IQ and already, <laughs> the first pack. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. What a sick name. Not 100% sure if it will see competitive play at a staple level, but um, very nice card. Magical Hound, Zebroid X, and Bluebeard, the Plunder Patrol Shipwright. Um, right, Buzzsaw Shark, Goki Guts, Coldbreaker Zero Day, Thunder Dragon Lord, the new Thunder Dragon card, uh, Nemesis Corridor, one of the reasons Colossus got banned, because this is just a, a free Colossus just like that. Very cool, Splash Mage, Noctivision Dragon, Performer File Turn Trooper, and Deep Sea Minstrel. So Noctivision Dragon is actually a very, very good card um, in any dragon deck. When a dark dragon monster is special summoned, you can special summon this from hand, and when it's used as link material, you can draw a card. So it's good for card advantage, it's good for link climbing. Even if Elfie does get banned, this card will still help the deck a lot. And yeah, it won't be dead, I don't think. And Splash Mage is actually quite good as well. Golden Hair, newest Plunder Patrol, Evil Eye, Remergence, Crimson Resonator, Parallel Exceed. This thing being a common is pretty disgusting because it's so good. It's like a free rank four. Burning Draw for the super. That Pretty sick Salomon Great card. If your opponent controls more cards than you do, target one link monster they control and draw cards equal to its link rating. Just honestly, very, very good card in Salomon Great. Uh, Resonator Command, Pinpoint Dash, Pride of the Plunder Patrol, and Proxy F Magician. Scripton, one of the TCG exclusives, I believe. Water Cybers cards, very interesting. Uh, Sarama, Cataclysmic Sorok. <laughs> Cataclysmic Circumpolar Chilblania. Rain Bozu. The heck is that? A little raindrops with jackpacks. <clears throat> Torpedo Takedown. Princess Basilalima. Ancient Warriors Fearsome Zhang Yuan. So I'm actually really excited for all the Ancient Warrior stuff. I really enjoy playing the deck, even though it's not amazing right now. Uh, we still need to get the Link and other good cards in Rise of the Duelist, so we will be waiting for that. But um, yeah, there's some good Ancient Warriors cards in this set. Malice Lady of Lament is, of course, the um, pre-release promo. Another Bluebeard, King Beast the Barbaros, Super Heavy Samurai, and Pinpoint Dash. Necroquip Prism, IQ, Parade the Ghost Pirate, Golden Hair, Har, Generator Boss of Storms, Dark 3K, 3K. Generators get some very good support in this as well. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, there's just so many good cards in this set. Trias Hierarchia. Deep Sea Sentry, and another Cataclysmic Polar Bear. Crimson Resonator, Xyz Revive Splash, Codebreaker Virus Berserker, Goldilocks the Battle Landscaper. Very interesting looking thing, reminds me of like Castle in the Sky or something. Nemesis Umbrella, so both Nemesis so far have been super rares. Proxy F Magician, Megal Deuniformed, Pride, and ooh, Deceptive Jiawen. All right, Goki Guts, Stairs of Mail. It's a very cool looking artwork. We look quite nice in hollow form. Uh, Codebreaker Virus Berserker, Link Burst, Rose Girl, another TCG exclusive. This thing is actually really good. If a face up plant monster you control is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If a plant monster is on the field and this card is in your graveyard, you can add this to your hand. Marincess Basilalima, 
Another Goldilocks, Evil Eye, Necroip. Oh, the Water Synchro, the Fish, the level 9, Ravenous, Crocodragon, Arcathus. And this is one of the really good synchros. If this card is synchro summoned, you can draw cards equal to the number of non tuners used for its synchro summon. And quick effect, you can discard two cards, target one card on the field, destroy it. So um, actually a very good card. Magical Hound, Red Familiar, Lantern Shark, and Megalith Uniforms. Deep Sea Artisan, Buzzsaw Shark, Valiant Shark Lancer. Two level five monsters. Uh, Performable Turn Trooper, Polar Bear, Ancient Warriors, Borrowing of Arrows, and King Beast Barbaros. I keep, how many of this card have we pulled? We've actually pulled loads. Um, Golden Hair, Deep Sea Artisan, Super Heavy Samurai, a Nemesis Flag, so all the main deck monsters seem to be super rare. Resonator Command, Unchained Swin Sarama, Trias Hararika, and Splash Mage. Codebreaker, Virus Berserker, Link Burst, Thunder Dragonlord, Goldilocks, and Witchcrafter Patronus. Kind of reminds me of Dark Souls, actually. I think it was Dark Souls 2, where you go into the painted world. Um, Lima, Flourishing Frolic. What the heck is that? One Artisan, Armored Bitron. It's also new. We've got quite a lot of cyber support in here as well. Lantern Shark, Red Familiar, Polar Bear, and Pride. Witchcrafter Unveiling. So Witchcrafter's got two super rares. Breaker, Zero Day, IQ, Trap Tricks, Alomaris. Two plus level four monsters. Virus Swordsman, Flourishing Frolic, Arch Nemesis, Protos. Ultra rare. Very weird looking thing, isn't it? We have level 11 Dark. Banish three monsters with different attributes from your graveyard or field and uh, special summon it from your hand. Can't be destroyed by card effects, and you can destroy all monsters of a particular attribute that you wish to declare on the field. Um, Swordmaster Musashi, Noctivision Dragon, Borrowing of Arrows, and Tattoo Dragon. Pure Wraith, Plunder Patrol Party. Wait, is that super? God, it didn't look like a super. Samurai Wagon, Torpedo Takedown, Nemesis Adestray, Stairs of Mail, Eye Contact is also a super rare, but it doesn't look like a super rare. Necroquip Prism, Parallel Exceed, Link Burst, Fijian Yuan, Red Rain. Some uh, Red Dragon Archfiend support there. Tato Dragon, Sarama, Jiawin, and Red Familiar. From the first box, we have five packs left. Hopefully including a secret at least. Uh, right, Flourish and Frolic, Artisan, Ghost Pirate, Codebreaker Zero Day, Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. A Ultra Equip spell. Um, Exceeds Revive Splash, Virus Berserker, Goki Guts, Flourish and Frolic, Ancient Warriors, Ambitious, Tsao Day. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, this is meant to be Cow Cow or Tsao Tsao. Very easy to summon, 3k Beat Stick. Very fun. I, I just love Ancient Warriors, man. It's such a fun spam deck. Goldilocks, Prism, Link Burst, Parallel Exceed, and Gachiri Ignister. Super rare. Right, two packs left. Still do a secret. I swear to God, if this box has one secret in it, that's gonna be so sad. Iris Swordsman, Buzzsaw Shark, Goki, Samurai Wagon, Armored Bitron. Please don't have one secret. Please don't have one secret. Uh, right, so Stairs of Mail, Golden Hair, Evil Eye, Marincess, and Titano Cider, Secret Rare, with uh, Apollosa in the artwork there. Her bear is apparently missing. So it's kind of like Lost Wind, but um, shinier. <laughs> that is gorgeous though. Right, box number two, we're just gonna turbo through the hollows now because I absolutely hate doing pack openings because it's just such boring content to watch. But we gotta do it because it's a new set. Ooh, another Titano Cider. <laughs> God's sake, our second box and we've already got a duplicate. That's a shame. Um, all right, cool. For some reason, the packs and also the boxes seem a lot sturdier or like harder to open. And the cards feel quite weird as well. Um, Marincess Great Bubble Reef. Link 4, it's the first time we've pulled her. Deep Sea Prima Donna. Synchro Tuner, so this can be summoned off Needle Fiber. Um, very cool, ultra rare. There we go, there's our boy, Ancient Warriors, Ingenious Zhuge Kong. He's our negate boy in the Ancient Warriors deck. Area the Water Charmer. Massive ass sword there, my guy. Ooh, Machina Metal Cruncher. I guess to go along with the Machina Madness deck that just got released. Very cool, another ultra rare. The Arrival Cybers Ignister. 
the first Link 6 in the TCG. Got a super rare. That is a lot of arrows. I wonder if we'll ever get a Link 8. Probably not. Another emblem of the Plunder Patrol. Void Apocalypse. Invoked, there we go. I forgot there was an invoked card in here. Invoked Ogoades. Ogo... <laughs> invoked Ogoades. Super rare. Medolce Salon Ultra Rare. If Judgment Dragon and Shenron had a baby, this is the result. And Gursu the Orcist Mech Knight. This card is absolutely busted. Probably going to slingshot Orcus straight into tier one, even though they're already doing pretty good just now with the scrap engine. Man, that is so shiny. Yes, this is most likely going to be a very expensive card. So there we go. Box number three. Ooh, fusion deployment. Ultra rare. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and special summon from your hand or deck one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. I wonder if this will see play in Invoked. I can't remember if Alistair triggers off special summon or not, but um, yeah, pretty cool card. Pretty cool ultra rare. Uh, oh wow, Lopter Shadow of the Generator bosses. Level four main deck monster. You can only control one Lopter Shadow of the Generator bosses. All Generator monsters you control gain a thousand attack and defense during your opponent's turn. During the main phase, you contribute one Generator monster, special summon one level nine Generator monster with a different name from your deck. All right, cool. So literally normal summon and then tribute to special summon any Generator from your deck. That's pretty good. Union Driver. There you go, all you ABC players. Ooh, Gravedigger's Trap Hole. So this is the card that makes Trap Tricks for Flesia and Anti-Nibiru tech, and uh, Parallel Exceed can actually very easily make Trap Tricks for Flesia. So that's a very good engine to stop Nibiru. Medolce Promenade. Man, I love the artwork on Medolce cards. There's so much going on. Heavy Forward. I've not actually heard of this one. Uh, when this card is activated, you can add... Oh, okay, it's an Infinitrack card. Plunder Patrol, ship, 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 shipping. Um, Deep Sea Area, or Aria. It's the searcher for Deep Sea, or I guess just Sea Serpents, generically. So a uh, pretty good card. Pretty good card indeed. Box four, Arch Nemesis Protos. This is the one we already pulled, right? The level 11 Dark, yeah, I believe so. Ooh, Access Code Talker. Link 4. So I seen someone comment on the Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch that I just uploaded that we can get this instead of Griffin. Uh, so your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's effect activation. So it's good, but it doesn't do the same thing as Griffin. Man, the secrets in this set are very, very shiny. But yeah, access code talker for box number 4. Ooh, another Gravedigger's Trap Hole for our second secret. Dragon Maid Shio, ultra rare. So this is the very good Dragon Maid fusion card that uh, a lot of people were hyped for. Looks pretty cool. Uh, nice to see as an ultra rare. Arch Nemesis Eschatos. So this is the light level 11. Uh, same summoning conditions, banish three different types. Ooh, Linkross. So, um. This plus Halky Fibrax in the same format is just broken, man. Like, you just summon Herald of Arclight for free, so I have a feeling at least one of those three cards is going to get banned, and it's probably, unfortunately, going to be Herald. But uh, yeah, I really expected this to be a secret, so seeing it as an Ultra is pretty cool, I suppose. Very good card, very good card. Box number five. Oh shit! Uh, oh, Trap Tricks Alomaris apparently comes as a Starlight Rare. Oh, uh, yo! So cases have like a 50% chance of pulling a Starlight and uh... <laughs> oh boy! Yes! Man, that looks so nice. Look at that artwork. Uh, man, I think Xyz Rarity in Starlight Rare just looks beautiful. Oh, I just noticed they changed the uh, copyright. It's no longer Kazuki Takahashi. It's now his uh, studio and TV Tokyo and Konami. But, oh boy, look at that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There we go. So uh, I've been trying to, if I can just find the binder, give me a sec. I've been trying to collect all of these Starlight Rares 
and so far I've done an all right job. I'm missing just the Apollosa and Marinsa Seahorse. But now there's five more Starlights that I need to add to that collection. So um, yeah, that's one more towards the binder. Another emblem of the Plunder Patrol, ultra rare. Link Cross again, very cool. Heavy Forward again. I think this is the worst ultra in the set, honestly. Madolce Salon. Four ultras, we still haven't pulled any secrets yet and we've got uh, three packs left of box number five. So we should get like back-to-back -back secrets here or something. There we go, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. That's our second new Autumn Hand Trap Dolly. For the back-to-back, -back, hey, Chamber Dragon Maid to go with Dragon Maid. What's it called, Xiao? There we go. Box number six. We're about to be halfway after this one. Heavy forward again. Fusion deployment. Ultra rare. Ooh, there we go. Plunder patrol ship Lice or Lys. I'm so glad to say that it's actually good. We have a monster negate for plunder patrols and uh, all the other monsters are very good for extending and stuff. So it's got pretty good board spam capabilities, but um, yeah, it's a very good card. Another dragon made Shio. Arch Nemesis Eschatos again. Ooh, Anima Dorned Archosaur. So that's what they translated it to. This thing just reminds me of the little crystal lizards off of Dark Souls as well. But look at that with a secret shine. Man, all the secrets look so nice in this set. Yeah, this is a very good card for dinosaurs. Probably going to be pretty expensive. Box number seven. Another Lopter, Shadow of the Generator Bosses. Is this meant to be like Shadow of the Colossus or something? I really don't know. Emblem of the Plunder Patrol once again. I think that makes number four now. Medolce Salon. Back-to-back -back Ultras. Our third Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill now. Providing us with our playset. Very nice, very nice. Another Union Driver. Uh, Deep Sea Aria. Box number eight. We're getting there, we're getting there. Don't worry. Another Lopter, Shadow of the Generator Bosses. I think that makes our playset for that one. Machina Metal Cruncher, number two. Ooh, there we go. Plunder Patrol Ship Lice again. Another Ravenous Crocodragon Archithus. Hey, our third Titano Cider, Shiny Lost Wind. That's our playset now. Deep Sea Prima Donna again. We got two Water Synchro Ultras in that box. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Box number nine. Ooh, there we go. We haven't had this one yet. Gizmek Yuka, the Festive Fox of Fasundity. Probably butchered that name. God, you can hardly see the picture through the shine. But uh, yeah, that's the fourth Gizmek, I believe, to be released now. Very pretty looking thing. Another arch nemesis, Eschatos. Our third Linkross, I think that is. Could be four, but I think it's three. Another Arc Nemesis Protos. We got both Arc Nemesis in the same box, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, our fourth Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. It's a tiny bit miscut or off-centered or whatever, but um, yeah, getting four? That doesn't seem right. And finishing off with a Dragon Maid Sheol. Box number nine. Uh, starting off strong with a Chamber Dragon made Secret Rare and followed up by a Arc Nemesis Protos. God, we're gonna get all the good hollows in a row here. <laughs> back to back to back, but what the hell? That's our fifth Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Something is up here. I would much rather these be Gearsus, but I'm not complaining, honestly. Ravenous Croco Dragon Archithus. So I believe that's our third one of those. Very cool. Arch Nemesis Eschatos. Deep Sea Prima Donna. Now for the second last box, box number 11. Really hoping we get another Gersu. We only have one. Another Link Cross. Heavy Forward. Another Ravenous Croco Dragon Archithus. Hey, another Animadorned Archosaur. So I think that's our second one of those. Another Trap Tricks Alomaris. I feel like this is just our second one of these, if you exclude the Starlight, obviously. Followed swiftly by the Deep Sea Aria. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the final box. Can we get a second Gersu? Because if we, if we end on one Gersu, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a little bit sad. But um, 
it is what it is. Madolce Salon for the first Ultra, followed by Dragon Maid Shio. Another Deep Sea Aria, Lopter, Shadow of the Generator Bosses. I think that's our fourth one of those. No! Oh! So this is most likely the final secret of the case. Another Guzmec, another Guzmec Yuka. Uh, I can't complain about that because it is just our second one of those two, but I really wanted another Gersu, man. Um, but yeah, I'll take it. We did get the Starlight, so I can't really complain that much, honestly. So this should be the final Ultra, heavy forwards, and we have three packs left. Final pack of the entire case. Can we end on a hollow? Cyber Knight would ask. Let's find out. We have Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol, Deep Sea Artisan, Super Heavy Samurai Wagon, Codebreaker Virus Berserker, and the Arrival Cybers Ignister for the final Super, Magical Hound, Zebroid X, Tato Dragon, and Resonator Command. Potato. Right, so results and ratios for the entire case, starting with Super Rares, have six. Nemesis Corridor, 10 Witchcrafter Patronus, 9 Scriptron, 8 Marincess Great Bubble Reef, 10 Iria the Water Charmer Gentle, 8 Plunder Patrol Party, 8 Armored Bitron, 9 Invoked Oguedes, 10 Har Generator Boss of Storms, 8 Rose Girls, 8 Tsao Days, 6 Nemesis Flag, 9 of the Link 6, 11 Eye Contact, 10 Gachiris, 9 Void Apocalypse, 9 Nemesis Umbrella, 8 Witchcrafter Unveiling, 7 Gusaris, 6 Valiant Shark Lancers, 7 Malice, 8 Promenade, 8 Red Rain, 9 Burning Draw, 6 Juge Kong, and 8 Plunder Patrol Ship Shape Ships Shipping. For the Ultras, we have two Machina Metal Cruncher, two Trap Tricks Alomaris, Alomaris, two Fusion Deployment, two Union Driver, three Deep Sea Prima Donna, four Arch Nemesis Eschatos, four Arch Nemesis Protos, four Dragon Maid Xiao, four Ravenous Crocodragon Archithis, four Emblem of the Plunder Patrol, four Lopter Shadow of the Generator Bosses, four Linkross, five Heavy Forward, and four Medolce Salon. Finally, for the secrets, we have just one Gersu, the Orcist Mech Knight, just one Access Code Talker, two Gizmec Yuka, the Festive Fox, two Plunder Patrol Ship Lice, two Animadorned Archosaur, two Grave Diggers Drap Hole, two Chamber Dragon Maid, three Titano Cider, four Deep Sea Aria, and five Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. No short prints, by the way. Obviously, variants is a thing. This is just one case, a very small sample size, but even then I was kind of expecting two of everything at least. Um, one Gersu, that's kind of sad. But we did also get the Starlight Trap Tricks. Being totally honest, I have to say I'm really not a fan of the new rarity distribution, especially based on this case. It's now so much harder to pull anything specific, and chances are that's probably going to bump up prices all across the board. I would really hope to see ratios in other cases not be the same as this, because otherwise I would find it really hard to believe that short prints aren't a thing anymore. I guess only time will tell. Anyway, we're going to wrap up this video here. I'm definitely not a fan of watching big long pack openings, it's just so boring and brain dead and we're getting to the 25 minute mark so um yeah i'm gonna stop talking goodbye